Bear your soul. Dear Alexander, 29. Quote, You always fix everyone else's problems, but you don't stay long enough to let people know your own insecurities, vulnerabilities, and who you are. So you think you're connected to all these people, but they don't feel connected to you. They just trust you can help them out. End quote. Be careful. That can often be you. You often guard personal vulnerabilities during a conversation to protect yourself from having to talk about yourself. You'd rather ask curious questions to make the other person feel heard. What you've done is created a one-way street of emotional imbalance. You may know someone, but do they know you? They know they can turn to you when they enter a dark place, but do they know you can turn to them? Do you even know you can turn to others? Can you be courageous enough to expose the darker, more revealing parts of yourself to create deeper, more fulfilling personal relationships? Who knows? Maybe bearing your own soul can facilitate someone else to do the same. What happens when you enter that dark cave? Who will you turn to? No one does it all on their own. Your ego likes to say and think that you can do it all on your own, but in reality, you are not you without others modulating and molding you into who you are. There is no escaping influences and help from others. People need people. Even when you're totally isolated and by yourself, your mind will reach into that cookie jar of past traumas and inspiration from others that will give you the hand to get out of your cave. People need people. The deeper connections you can cultivate with others, the more fulfilling and rewarding your life will be. So sit down and take the time to engage with people and show them authentically and genuinely and honestly who you are by expressing what makes you hesitant and uncomfortable. As you are attempting to do here with all these videos and Dear Alexander series.